Okay, we have here another interesting integral. We've got the integral from zero to pi over two, one over sine squared x plus cosine squared x dx. Okay, every once in a while I get in a difficult situation like this where I end up with an integral and I've got a denominator I don't quite know what to do with. But then thinking it over a bit, I realize this is a perfect case for a Weierstrass substitution. Okay, so I've already derived all our values for our substitution in a previous video. I'll provide a link to this in the description, but we already have everything we need over here to the right. We've got our value for sine, cosine. The value for dx is pretty easy to get from just our initial substitution. Let me fix this over here because this should just be, this should be x's here, because we want values for x's in order to do this with our integral, because we've got dx, we need a value for that, and we need a value for sine x and cos x. So let's just go ahead with this substitution first. Let's update our bounds. So we plug pi over two in here for x. We're looking for tan of x over four. Tan of x over four is just one. Then we plug zero in here, tan at zero is gonna give me zero, so our bounds are going from zero to one. So for our dx value, we'll use this value right here. I'll take my two and we'll bring it out front of the integral. And then here, what I'll do, we'll write the whole denominator, sorry, the whole numerator is dt, but I'll take this one plus t squared and put it in the denominator, but way out here. For sine squared, we've got a value for sine here. I'm gonna kind of split this up. We'll write two t squared here over this one plus t squared. This will need to be squared. And then here for cosine, same kind of thing. We're gonna have one minus t squared. We'll have this squared. And then we're gonna have our one plus t squared all squared. But now I'm gonna to wanna to distribute this in. Let me make parentheses just to make this clear here. I know that's kind of a mess. But what I really wanna do, I don't wanna just cancel out one copy of the one plus t squared. I want two, so I wanna square this, but I don't wanna change it, so I'll, I'll multiply by one plus t squared here in the numerator. Then by doing that, this is gonna cancel with this and this. And now we just need to kind of multiply everything out and clean it up. So we'll have our two going from zero to one, one plus t squared here, dt. Multiplying all this out, the first term, this is gonna become, when we square this, this is gonna become four t squared. Distributing this out, we get one minus two t squared. And then squaring it, we're gonna have a plus t to the fourth. Then let's just go ahead and rewrite it. But I'm gonna reorder everything. I kind of like having the polynomials in the other direction. So I'm gonna, so what I'll do is reverse this and write this as t squared plus one. Then in the denominator, I'm gonna bring the t to the four over here. Four t squared minus two t squared gives me a plus two t squared plus one. But then this whole thing here, this can actually be factored as t squared plus one squared. Mm -hmm. But then I can just cancel all this with one of these. And then I'm out of space. Let me just rewrite it and we'll finish it off. But now that we have this all cleaned up, we just have an easy integral here. Of course, this thing is much simpler than what we started with, so now we can just finish it off. This is just gonna be arctan, so when we integrate this, we'll have our two out front. This is gonna become just arctan of t, and we just need to evaluate from zero to one. Plugging this in, we'll have our two out front. Arctan at one is gonna be just pi over four, minus arctan at zero, that's just gonna be zero. Multiplying two times pi over four, we just get our final solution of pi over two. So there you have it, another case where the virus stress substitution comes in to save the day. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.